Hello and welcome to Synchronicity, the opera. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Every breath you take, <laughs> I'll be pissing you. <laughs> Where did you know this song is actually about stalking? I mean, it 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 gives off a very stalkery vibe, so I'm not surprised. Whatever you do, even when you're on the toilet, I'll be watching, I'll be watching you. you. That's right. Yeah. That's just uh, fucking creepy. Yeah. Well, why do you do this to us, Sting? And what the and what the fuck does Zinyana Mondata mean? Hmm? Yeah, that, mm-hmm. that is a good question. I never figured out what the fuck that meant. Yeah. Yeah. And what? And what does Regatta de Blanca mean? I know. <laughs> and why is the do 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 the da 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 all you want to say to me? You sound like a fucking kid. Like a child. Do I need to change your diapers thing? Is that what you're trying to communicate to me? Is that why you're going de do 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 de da da da? Can I get and my that, fly fly da da da? And there's another thing. Uh-huh. Why are you suggesting that every little thing she does is magic? Are you saying she's a witch? And, and then you follow that up by saying everything she do just turn you on. What if she farts into a jar of beans? Does that turn you on? You you get a boner? <laughs> do you get a boner if she pees on our baby? <laughs> oh god. God damn it. I just made myself sad. I just made yeah. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay, moving on from that. <laughs> that monstrosity. And, and there's another thing. Invisible sun. I can see the fucking sun. It's right there. Yeah. In fact, you're the one that said that there was a little black spot on the sun today. All right. So why you got to contradict yourself? How, if it's invisible, how do you see the little black spot? spot? Yeah. How do you see? How do you see it? How do you see it? The how fuck does that mean? And how exactly would I be wrapped around your finger? Yeah. Must be a, either I'm a very small person or you have a very large finger. <laughs> Personally, I think Sting has a very large finger. He got stung. That's why he's the king of pain. <laughs> the, the king of Sean Penn. Yeah, yeah. Pain is what I meant. But that's it, Sean Penn works. Actually, not anymore. He doesn't. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> Gordon. He just walked over that. <laughs> I said Sean Penn works. No, he doesn't. Not anymore. <laughs> I, I heard what you. I heard what you said. You said a better. You said a better. Well, more well formulated joke to. To, to deliver. What you, uh, yeah. What do you have to say about that, Gordon? Because that is your real first Yeah. Move. Yeah. Why did you stop substitute teaching? That's what I want to know. What was it? Just the money wasn't good. You just thought, oh, I, I have this song about a message in a bottle. I should probably write it down so that, uh, so that we can make millions and millions of doll hairs. Can we can have our, our first album called Orlando's de Amor. Yes, <laughs> it's like my, it's like my name my albums after shit people can't pronounce. That's how you know I'm pretentious. Right. Thing's next album is going to be called Ungada Blaga Duga Fluga Diga Wiga. <laughs> it's going to go triple is... aluminum. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go quadruple salt. Yes, yeah, right. It's going to go. It's going to go. Tri- it's going to go quintuple tungsten. It's it's going to go. It's going to go twenty six times myrrh. <laughs> And that's actually one of the songs on it. It's just him going murr 26 times. Murr! Murr! <laughs> murr! Well, well, are you saying mermaids? Murder? Come on, Sting. What are you doing? <laughs> and who are you to say? Who are you to say, Sting, that we are spirits in a material world? That's what I want to know. 
I mean, Madonna told us that she's a material girl. That's Are you right. saying she's not a material? He said she said we were living in a material world. So I guess that we have that they have that in common. And also, while we're on the subject, Sting, <clears throat> Sting of Finn. Yeah. Why was there a reggae version of that song that was way better than the original? And I don't understand why. And it was in the end credits of fucking Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls. Which song was that? Spirits in the Material World. Oh. Yeah, the, some and dude. Also, yeah. Stingathin. Stingathin. Why, are you, why do you sing a song called So Lonely? Uh, on the very next song, you're talking about Roxanne putting on the red light. Right. Hmm? And so you do, and, and, and it's not like you wanna... as I said, it's not like it's not like you nobody could hear you singing. You're singing them at the top of your fucking lungs. Salone, Salone, but it is, but it is thing, so we can only understand the last two words he says. It's true. Into butt sex. Excuse me, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Careful with that joke, it's an antique. <laughs> it can happen to you. <laughs> you can take a poo. <laughs> Excuse me while I die. It can happen to you. It's just the way you said it. Oh, well, that's God. how he says it in the song. I know. It tickled me. It tickled my, it tickled my very pee. hard spot. It tickled my gooch. <laughs> it tickled my gooch. Mm, that's right. <laughs> it made me happy inside. <laughs> mm. There is no political discussion. Listen. I beg to differ, Sting. In, in, in 2024, there sure as yeah, fuck is political. That's all there fucking is. Listen, you want to tell me, Sting, there's a black cat caught in a high tree top? How did he get up there? Did you throw it up mm-hmm. there? Did you convince Stuart Copeland to throw it up there? You're a did bad Andy influence. Did Andy Summers steal it from you and climb up the tree like a fucking gibbon? <laughs> there is no political discussion. Oh. Well, actually, to be fair, the very next line is there's a flagpole rag and the wind won't stop. So, theoretically, the cat the probably wind climbed the flagpole, be. yeah. Honestly. I've tried to control my erection. <laughs> but when I see. I mean, when I see Rose and Barr, I don't have an erection. I, I just rip my dick off and throw it in the river. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. Oh, wait. Is there a button up there? That's not a button. Must have to go in the water. Oh. Let me get all this shit first. All right. I'm going to go up so I don't die. All right. Down we go. But yeah, um, yeah, some reggae guy uh, did a remake of that song for uh, the Ace Ventura When Nature Calls soundtrack. And it's actually pretty fucking good. It's like one of the only reggae- reggaeton songs I'll actually actively listen to. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Sting is on it. I mean, he performs on it, so it's not like it's yeah, obviously he had the his, Sting's blessing, right? So, but yeah, it's a pretty damn good cover. It's like one of the best covers I've ever heard. Like, whenever I finally get back to doing a tale of two ditties regularly again, that'll probably be a very, a very interesting episode to do. You can also uh, you can also do red red white. Oh, there is definitely. I mean, you could make you could make a whole season of episodes out of UB40 songs because that's pretty much all they fucking did was covers. 
they uh, they they did that uh, cover of "I Got You, Babe" with uh, the woman from the Pretenders, Chris and, and I. also they did uh, "Falling in Love with yep. You." Yep, they sure did. Gee, you know, UB40, all their biggest hits were covers. Yeah. What the fuck, UB40? That's what I. That's what I'm saying. It's like a you. That's an entire season. It's just, oh, welcome to season four, the UB40 season. Where we're just going to talk exclusively about songs they fucked up. <laughs> Why do you call yourselves a reggae band? But half of you are white. That's true. I mean, in fairness, Sting was white, and he did reggae fairly well. True. So, you know, there's that. Do I not? Oh, yeah, I do have that. All right. Boop. All right. The way you do the things you do. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think they actually they did a fucking cover of that, didn't they? Of what? Of the things you do? The way you do the things you do. Yeah. yeah. They probably did. They covered every goddamn thing. No, they probably not. Probably they did. Oh fuck! I'm not surprised. God dang it! Man, UB40 was not a good band. <laughs> okay, they're really good at finding the talent in other people's songs. <laughs> True. If the band UB40 is out there, and they probably and listening are. to this. I highly doubt they're listening to this, but if you are, come up with some goddamn new original material, okay? That's all I gotta say. Truth. <laughs> they released an album in uh, April. They call it UB45. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Not gonna wait till I'm 45 to send that album to my friend Chris. We got a joke, and it's about to come true because we're on the verge. But when I turn forty, I want he, he's going to send me a copy of uh, UB forty, and then you're uh, going to send him a copy of you too. Yeah, in December when he turns forty, <laughs> as I turn forty in November and he turns forty in December. So, yeah, das the joke. <laughs> das is das is good. Hurrah! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and boop. That'll work. Okay. On to the next level. Just one thing makes me forget. <laughs> red, red, white. Stay close to me. <laughs> Carry my firstborn son. Uh, that's not the word. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a cheetah. Red, red wine. The fuck? Um, this song went off the rails. I think UB40 has to go home. Yeah. I think the minute they started fucking cheetahs. Cougars I get, but cheetahs, that's not a thing. You're just fucking an animal at that point. It's true. Shouldn't do that. The architecture of this level is very weird. Yeah. It's all pyramidy and shit. Are we in Egypt? Are we seeing the pyramids up to Egypt, Africa? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower is not in Egypt. It's in Indiana. Oh, shit. You telling me I live right by the Eiffel Tower? Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounded way too excited. So, <clears throat> reading um, from the lyrics of Red Red Red, red Wine, Red Red Wine, the, as Elmer red, Fudd red would wine. call it, yeah. Red Red Wine. <laughs> <laughs> Stay close to me. <laughs> 
the um, verses by Astro, who was the rapper. Right. Red, red wine, you make me feel so sad. Anytime I see you go, I, it make me feel bad. <laughs> red, red wine, you make me feel so fine. Monkey pock and risen upon the sweet depth line. What? Did you have a stroke, Astro? <laughs> red, red wine, make me feel so bad. For the beard, done bone, did the beard, don't they? I toast vanilla, I smell toast. La ba dee ba doo, ba ba dee ba boast. Monkey chew tobacco on the streetcar line? That's what it's supposed to be? Monkey. Hold on. Maybe he did have a stroke. <laughs> okay, because I'm looking at the annotations and it says, This is a play on the monkey chew tobacco on the streetcar line from the clapping song by Shirley Ellis. <laughs> this is a play on uh, a stroke victim. <laughs> Here, here's the clapping song. Yeah. Yeah, that's the pretty clapping much, song. Pretty much it. The line broke. The monkey get choked. Burn bad gotcha upon his little rowing boat. What? It's one thing you never want to do. It's you, you never want to choke the monkey. <laughs> you want to? You might want to shock the monkey. Yeah, shock the monkey. That's fine. Shock the monkey tonight, even. Or if you're George Michael, let your monkey free. <laughs> Except if you're at a men's restroom. Then you don't want to do that. Did I just soft lock myself? <laughs> I am trapped. <coughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh! Oh! It, oh, okay. oh wow. I could have got out. Well, this is this is life now. Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. No, there you go. no it is not. Red, red ween. Shit. Red, red ween shit? <coughs> red, red ween. <laughs> Stay close to Wiener. Stay close to my Wiener. Sexual harassment. Red, red balls. Oh, man. Did you hear that Neil Gaiman, there's two women who are accusing him of sexual assault now? I thought he was a gay man. Anyway. Oh, you're so fun. So, uh, so what? What is it? What are they saying he did? He <sighs> rough sexual stuff. Okay. Sometimes without consent. Oh. Yeah, that's... Fuck that guy, then. If that's well, true. If it's true. If it's true, I yeah. hope it's not. Consent is always key. It's true. Skiba. Boochie, 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 boochie. Booty, 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 pooping everywhere. I do not have the silver key card. I do not have the band Silver Chair. <laughs> it's twelve o'clock and it's a wonderful day. I know you hear my butt last anyway. <laughs> Won't you come with me to a place in a little town? Red, 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 red. 
<laughs> the only way to get there to go <clears throat> straight down. Does that mean the town is in hell? If it's the only way to get there is to go straight down? It's either in hell or in Australia. Way sure. down. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure Silverchair are from Australia, if I'm not mistaken. There's no bathroom and there is no sink. Well, that doesn't sound like it's very good living conditions, I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't Actually, want to... I think that, that might be illegal. Yeah. I don't again, they're I think they're from Australia, so the laws might be different there, but still. I mean, come on. I I I I feel like chicken tonight. Even in Australia, if there's no bathroom, yeah, you can't just go pissing in the street. That's this is ain't New York City, you know. <laughs> Sub is here and the time is right for, for pissing, pissing in the street. I'm D I'm David Bowie. <laughs> You're Mick Jagger and I'm David Bowie. I'm coming. All you bums out there. Time is right around the world <laughs> for pissing in the streets. Hey, David Bowie, do you want to get really close to each other and make it look like we're going to make out? <laughs> we're going to dance down an empty street. It looks so ridiculous. Seriously, if, if Mike could put a clip up of that video, a silent clip, mind you. I would put up the clip of the one where it's it's not that they've scrubbed the audio and just added, like, sound effects. Have you ever seen that well, one? There's a, there's a lit, yes, I have. Everywhere. Swaying, records playing, dancing in the street. Doesn't, Doesn't matter what you wear. wear. There is literally a part where the two of them get nose to nose, and it's like, are, are they gonna like start making out with each other? Like, uh, I mean, it, it's fine, but like, look, look, guys, what's going on here? It's a good question. It's a fine duet, a very wonderful duet, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't either. Shane McMahon is expected to work with AEW in some capacity before the end of the year. What? Says who? That's Name good... your sources, One Stop Wrestling. Right? I don't know if I trust that site. I just, I don't. I don't. I don't think that's going to I just don't. I don't think it's going to happen. It would be strange. Very strange. <clears throat> okay, so where the hell is the silver key then? <laughs> to go back to that silver chair song, after he says there's no bathroom and there is no sink, he says, the water out of the tap is very hard to drink. I'm like, if there's no bathroom and there's no sink, where the fuck are you getting tap water? And also, do you live in Flint, Michigan? Uh, yeah. No shit. I would turn off my TV and move. That's, that's the long and the short of that. I... As the famous song goes, I would blow up the outside. Yeah. Thank you, Chris Cornell. Rest in peace. Yes. There must be something obvious I'm missing. There has to be more to life than there. That requires a silver key. The door the other way requires a silver key. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. I really can't do anything because I'm not playing the game because I'm not in Indiana. 
And I, I'll tell you, 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 you really don't want to be in Indiana. It's not a whole lot going what? on here. No. There's the Pacers. Corn, not the band. <laughs> just, just plain corn. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't know that. I didn't know Indiana had corn. Yeah. <laughs> Midwest, oh, we all have corn out here. <laughs> no, no, not that corn. The boring corn. So, I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go here with no key. This door don't open. It says access denied every time I walk up to it. I feel like I'm just going around in circles. I think I am, actually. Going around in circles. Going around in circles. I'm walking in circles. Oh! Mm -hmm. See, that's that's not a thing I knew I, I, I thought I could do. Got a little, be, be a little bit more... Uh, a little more proactive. Yeah, you gotta you help me out a little bit more with that shit, man. God, game. What the fuck? You big snore flat? <clears throat> Walking in circles. Circles. Walking in circles. circles. Walking, walking in, walking in. Motherfucking circles. Walking in circles. Walking in circles. Walking in circles. Okay, so where is the main mine shaft? If it is now open, I should be able to. Ah. Oh. Hallelujah. Right. It was the door that said oh. access denied earlier. That's what it was. Can't get in. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. So much. Okay. Who sings that guy? What? Walking, walking in circles? Yeah. It's, uh, Our Lady Peace. Oh. From their hey, 2000, wait a minute. 2000, Hold on a second. 2005 album, A Healthy and Paranoid Times. Hold on a second, Our Lady Peace. Don't think that I'm going to let you guys slide. Uh-oh. What did they talking do? About, talking about Superman's dead. He wasn't... He was gone for a little bit, but he wasn't dead. Well, around the time you made that song, anyway. Laser cannon. Maria, yeah, Superman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any, 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 any? Oh, also, <laughs> you want to say the world's a subway? How? Is how? Do you mean the restaurant? I don't think so. Because everybody's a foot long. <laughs> yeah. Huh. That would make life a little less complicated. The world's a subway. Subway. Hi. <sighs> Doesn't anybody ever know? <laughs> At the next light, make a ride. Doesn't anybody ever know? No. no. I used to be able to do it Doesn't way better than that. No, I, it's, it's very difficult now. Does anybody want my phone? <laughs> Listen, I've seen Rain made a 
in person. Like he's a he's a pretty handsome man. Yeah. Yeah. I remember seeing Our Lady Peace live in Austin, Texas. And they were like, "Hey, hello, Michael Riley. Thanks for calling me handsome. I'm I'm gonna bone you now." I don't know why he's got an accent. He's from Canada. <laughs> it's a oh. British accent. <laughs> oh, Louis. Oh, he's from Canada. No, the one that had the accent was the opening band. The guy that was like, "Is this the cue?" I was wondering about that because I remember you telling that story. I'm like, just the way you went. Is that the cue? Is this the cue? And I can I tell you something. I recently remembered the name of the band. It's Electric Touch. Is the name of the band? Okay. And uh, they're actually really good. Go listen to their stuff. And when you say Q, do you mean he thought it was a line? Yes. Wait, they were an American rock band? I thought they were. Was the guy British? I think they. No, the singer is British. Pretty sure they're British. Yeah, I was going to (laughs) say. What was he trying to get to the port or something? No, we were in line to buy merch. So the fucking lead singer of the Electric Touch was like, "Is this the cue? Do I stand here?" He's just—he was just fucking with us. That's all that was. Wow, what an asshole! It was—he it, was being funny. I'm not. Why am I bouncing around? Oh, so wow! There was an earthquake. Rain Maida is a handsome man. Yeah, he sure I'm... is. I would do them. <laughs> and they're at a, at a, at a. Hi. The world's a subway, subway. Hi. Why you, you're trying to give it to Tiny Tim. Tiptoe through the tulips with me. Oh. What? Gay? Oh, silly. I married women. I am married women. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Fleeting? The wow. Takes us toll. So listen closely. Not for very much longer. <laughs> I remember doing, doing the, the time, time warp. warp. <laughs> Drinking. <laughs> Moments when, you know, somehow I have a suspicion that if Christopher Walken did Rocky Horror Picture Show. Wouldn't wouldn't have that oomph. Let's do the time warp again. Oh, I'm just a sweet transvestite. From transsexual Transsexual. Transylvania. Transylvania. Come up to the lab. See See what's on the slab. slab. I see you shiver in Antissa. (laughs) <laughs> Opportunity, bless my soul. I really like that rock and roll. Oh, damn it, Janet! <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, actually, now I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see a Christopher Walken rendition of uh, 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 Rocky Horror. Hey, Janet. I have something to say. I'm going to hit you with a soldering iron. Yes, also, I really love the skillful way you beat the other girls to the prize bouquet. <laughs> I want this door to close for a second because there's something on it. Is that a robot dick? Or is it somebody giving the middle finger? I can't tell. Um, that seat you feel is wiener. Or just the number eight. I'm just being stupid. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know, man. Well, that says 12, so yeah, I guess that must have been number eight. N- 96? 96? That's where you turn around you fart on the back of each other's heads. That's true. <laughs> 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 Uh, who would have thought they would have put that into the game? But in, to, in all fairness, I, I don't believe Ed Software made the uh, the expansions. There was another company. Yeah, I don't know why I'm still talking like I'm Christopher Walken. No. Nobody understands oh what, my I, God. what I feel. Listen, I'm a, my name is Feigl. I'm, I'm lost. West. I tried to go I'm west. Lost. Where's I, my fucking family? And I sp- Where the fuck are they? I ran face first into a Burger King. It was not pleasant. No. Not at all. I did not I did not have my way because I <laughs> hit my face. Yeah, in an unpleasant manner. And then I fell into a rodeo oh, yeah. and a bull shat on me. I don't know why. I thought he was a nice that, bull, but no, he was not. That was bullshit. It was bullshit. <laughs> no, listen, I'm just saying, uh, how, how good of a family could I have if they couldn't find me? It's fucking disgusting. These people couldn't find, don't know the difference between their ass and a hole in the ground. Yeah, and they look at the hole in the ground and they go, hey, is, is that my ass? Should I put shit in there? That's not how asses work. Shit comes out of them. They don't go in. You don't put the shit in and then food comes out of your mouth. That would be weird. I mean, unless you're, unless you're from San Francisco. <laughs> then, maybe. It wouldn't be poop going in the butt then, I don't think. That's not how it works. That's Ray. <laughs> you say that's Ray? There's a guy named Ray. He he he's from San Francisco, and he told me. I once, said that's great. I, listen, I'm telling a story. Will you do mind? I, I do <laughs> mind. <laughs> Interrupt me with factual accuracies. Listen, this guy named Ray. I knew him once. He he got here on a tram, or maybe it was a trolley. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely okay. sure. But when he got here, he said, listen, I have six toes on one foot. And I said, Ray, that's actually wonderful. You you can climb trees way better than anybody else I've ever known. That you should use that to your advantage. This is, uh- <clears throat> this is um, so wonderful. So wonderful. <laughs> you know, I I spoke to Ray as well. And then he was murdered Ray. by Kevin Spacey. And they wrote well, sloth he's... on his, the wall next to him. And I was like, no, just because he's got six toes doesn't mean he was a sloth. And you know, and then... They, they they killed this one guy and they kept him alive for a year. Kept him in a room with a bunch of air fresheners. Because he stunk. Cause he, yeah. He had no beds. Because he was in that bed for like a year. Yeah, he had, terrible. He had bed sores. And then this one cop goes, you got what you fucking deserved. And then, what do you know? The guy started convulsing and choking and puking. And that... The cop's name, I'll never know why for the life of me, but his name was California. And it was he was played by the doctor from Scrubs. It's an interesting predicament. Predicament. You know, sometimes whenever I see somebody carrying a package... I say to them, what's in the fucking box? And the people, they don't, they don't know. They get confused. Dude, I, I, Seven is one of my favorite movies. But I think it would be my all-time favorite if Christopher Walken was in it. If Christopher Walken 
It, it doesn't even matter which of the characters he plays. Like, it would have been great for all of them. I, I would suspect. Yeah. But I think the best dynamic here would be if if Chris Walken was in Brad Pitt's role so he could play off of Morgan Freeman. Like, now, now if you if you shoot John Doe, he wins. But what what does he win in the end? It's not a game. There's no prizes. You, you listen. <laughs> the man killed my fucking wife. Okay, why? Why would I let him go? Why would I not put a bullet to his freaking his skull? Fucking spine. No, you that you're a cop, and and that's illegal. You can't do that. That's but, but like but listen, listen, Morgan Freeman. Listen to me. That's my name. Me... That's not my name in the movie. You fuckhead. <laughs> okay, I'm that's the listen, ex, I'm what? the actor Morgan Freeman, but. Listen, black cop man, listen to me. <laughs> I black cop man. <laughs> let me ask you a question. If your wife was killed by John Doe, <laughs> wouldn't you want to shoot him? I mean I I, I don't know about you. I don't but know. But I'm about... feeling twenty two. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Mills, are you okay? Because you you're quoting Taylor Tw Taylor Swift at me, and I don't know I don't know what's going Wait on. Wait a second, Taylor Swift wasn't even around around the time this movie was made. So how the fuck would I know that? Was she not alive at that? Yeah, probably. She might have been born the year that movie came out. Actually, ninety five, I think. Yeah, that sounds that sounds about right. Well, I mean, even if she was alive, she wasn't making music. No. I don't know about you. But I'm feeling 22. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. What does that even mean? I guess we'll find out in, in 15 years when that song comes out. Again, now getting back to my original point. This man killed my fucking wife. Put her head in a box. Why in the world would I not shoot him? Be because that's not what cops do, except when they're in Ferguson, Missouri. That's not what cops do, huh? I, I don't. If you look I, at the state of the world right now. If you listen, have you ever watched any of the movies where I play a cop? That's all I do exclusively. I literally, like, I shoot <laughs> people with, like, a fucking knee. <laughs> That's pretty much all I know. If I could, I would rip. I would rip a guy's I would rip, balls. I would rip Torn. <laughs> and he's a fucking maniac too. He is. Rippity rip rip. Torn he torn. He once blew a load all over my face. It was nothing but confetti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to a Gallagher concert the night before. <laughs> he was covered in watermelon. I looked at him and I said, what a melon. <laughs> oh my God, this is, this, this is, is awful. This is getting, yeah, this is getting some somewhere between uh, the, the verge of insane and brilliant. And in the, in the membrane. Yeah. I still this... don't really have an idea of where I'm, where I'm supposed to go, but. How many... How many times, how many times must you see one of my movies where I play a cop for you to realize I, 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 I like to fuck a lot of shit up? <laughs> I thought you were just going to stop it. I like to fuck a lot of shit. That would be weird. What's the matter with you? I exclusively fuck shit. Diarrhea, no. But shit, yes. Diarrhea, no. That's it's like a regular what? no, only I'm <clears throat> pooping when I say it. No! Stop it! Ouch. I was electrocuted. Not electrocuted. No. 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 Oh, no.
no, 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 I'm just gonna save us a little bit of time here. Please, no. Don't do. Don't do. Don't do it. Don't Wait. do it. Wait. Christopher Walken was in Dune Part 2? Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Wow. Yep, he sure was. Sure as fuck was. He plays insane guy. No, I'm just kidding. I I feel like I've been typecast. I w I I'm 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 starting to suspect that people seem to think that all I do is play insane guys. I don't do things like that. I don't, I don't do things like that. I don't I don't beat people up. I don't shoot them in the forehead. I don't beat people oh, off. Do, uh, no, I don't do that. I would never. Unless they ask me to, because consent is key. Wee, wee, consent is key. <laughs> consent is wee. <laughs> consent is a Nintendo cost. Sure. All right. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not gonna. It is true. I. It is true. And the fuck are you? And the fuck are you? Hit this button and the fuck are you? Fuck are you? And the fuck are you? Uh, go down, go downstairs, or the fuck are you? And that's exactly what I did. I hopped the day away. Sometimes you gotta just do a little hop tour. And you spit on that thing. You know what I mean? I don't. I do not understand how that just became a thing. Oh my god! The fuck? Well. You probably should. Well. That's so fucking weird! Okay. It's the well. gravity, man. Alright. That was a, that was the end of Scourge of Amagon. That was the end of the first episode of this expansion. That's crazy. I think we're actually almost out of time. We are almost out of time. I might. It, it, we're at forty-eight minutes, but I'm gonna probably I'll probably cut it off early just so I don't have to. A little early. Uh -huh. I mean, deep within the bowels of the research facility, you discover the passage that the followers of Quake have used <laughs> to enter our world. The bastards. Use some type no. a gigantic teleporter to overload yeah. one of our own slipgates. <laughs> as long as this portal exists, Earth will never be safe from Quake's cruel minions. If you can find the source of the portal's power, you can shut it down, possibly forever. Shut it down. With Shut only it down. Shut it. a moment's consideration for your own safety, you re-enter the dark domain, knowing hell would be a better fate than experiencing the rain of quake. The rain in Spain. It falls mainly I think, I should, the I think I should continue reading these as Chris Walken. The way that, that as slow as this shit types out on the screen. That just makes sense. Something like that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's episode. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit bell to uh, hit the bell. Hit, hit belt. 
<laughs> to be notified of upcoming videos. And, of course, leave a comment down below. Make that interaction happen. Uh, for Dane Ford Joan, I'm Mike Riley saying we will see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody! Good, 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 goodbye. <laughs>